Welcome back to Performance TV. If you've ever had to do any work underneath the bed of your truck and need to take the bed off, that's a tough job. You either need eight hands or a lot of friends, and hopefully they show up. We've got a tool on today's show. It's going to make that a one-person job. It's the Lift King by ProLine Tool and Supply. I've got Rick here with me. This is a great tool. It's going to make this job really simple. It's really small footprint, three feet by three feet. You can store it in the corner of your garage, but it'll make this a one-person job. Yes. Uh, now, it's really easy to put down and get ready to go. How, I mean, it's about 30 seconds to get this thing, and we're going to take the bed off? Yeah, probably a couple, couple right. minutes. All right, walk get me it through going. the steps here, Rick. You uh, just got to put our legs down? Yep, we're going to put the legs down. As simple as putting the drug down, putting the pin in. Yep. Put the pin back in the hole. You can see how small of a footprint it was when the legs were tilted up. That's a really neat feature. It makes it very easy to store and put away when you're not using it. Yes. Now, we're going to crank this thing up. And it's going to be able to lift. How much capacity, weight capacity, can this thing actually lift? Well, we're looking around 450 pounds. Yeah, a bit of a truck, 450 pounds or so. Yes. Now, once we've got that done, simple as cranking Crank it this up. up. Slide your T-bar out. Let it slide down the legs. Simply come up here and grab the <coughs> T-bar, slip it in place. Extend your arms out. Now that's going to be the part that's going to lift up the front of the bed, right? Yes. Boy, this is pretty simple. This is a one-man operation. I can stand here and watch Hold it. the pin, put the D-bar down. This is where the pin hinge mounts go. Now that's going to mount off the pins for the tailgate, right? Correct. Now pretty much every truck has that, has that on it. Yes. Now we just wheel it around. It's really simple, mobile. Just slide it under your truck bag. You're making this look pretty easy. Oh, it is very easy. Because if you ever try to lift one of these, you need a lot of people to help you. Yes. Oh, so, well, I like, like that. that. Just pin. slides right over that pin. Right in place. Now our back is secure. What do we got to do in the front? Well, we got to put the front down here a bit. Adjust the height where this, it'll, yes. it'll, it'll secure right underneath the lip of the bed, right? Yes. Put these under the bed rail. Simple as that. Man, I like how easy this is to use. Come here, pick the front end up like inch, inch and a half on the front mount. Yeah, just make sure you're in the right position there. Oh, that one there's too tight. There. Now you're gonna pick up the front a little bit, still secured in the back here off these yes. pins. Just now just basically crank it, crank it up. Now we've already took the bolts out, disassembled the gas filler, right? Make sure everything was clear. All the wiring, was all the wiring disconnected. That up and slide it back. Just pull it straight back. We got Let me a... grab that gas filler cap for okay. you. All right. Now that's a whole lot easier to pull off than a bunch of guys trying to lift it and pick it up. Now you make a lot of different accessories for this as well. Yes, we do. Well, Rick, once we've got it off the vehicle, you've got a great accessory to stabilize it. It's a stabilizer support, right? Yes, it is. It's pretty simple to install. Just slide it in there and put your support in there. Once you have that in and installed, then you can lower the bed down on it. Correct. It's going to get rid of all the flex of bouncing around. It's all this bouncing. Right. We're going to lower it down on that. It'll be solid. You can move it anywhere around the shop. Correct. We've got the bed off, and now we set it on the bed dolly. But Rick, one of the accessories I really like is the tilt boom. Now this allows us to tilt the bed up after we have it off, right? Yes, correct. It's super easy to put on afterwards, too. Yep, set the tilt boom up there. Put the one set pin the in pin. place, and the tilt boom's on. Then you start cranking, it allows you to tilt the bed up. You yeah. can work on it underneath. You don't have to crawl around on the floor. You can actually work on the bottom of the bed if you have correct. to. But you can't do it on the truck because you've no. got to have the clearance for the truck to be able right. to move it, right? Correct, yeah. I mean, this is pretty neat. It's a simple add-on. Simple as that. This, this thing has so many different options of it. That's what I love about it. You got the, you know, the, the, the dolly for the bed. You've got the tilt boom. You've got the support. Mm -hmm. You can do so many things with one machine and one person. One man. Yes, correct. You made this job pretty simple. Well, thank you. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, work smarter, not harder. There you go. Because your buddies will never show up. If you don't have a lift king, you're, you're in trouble, right? That's the way it works. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I'm telling you what, this is so easy. If you ever need to get in here and work on the fuel pump, because a lot of times you're installing the top of the fuel tank, lift king will make that job so easy. Correct. Yeah, and you can do this in your garage. It's mobile, too. It's not yes. something, uh, if you've got a chain hoist, the truck's got to be in the same spot. Otherwise, this thing, you can take it anywhere you want. Yes, correct. 
I'll tell you what, he's going to put this on. He said it was a one-man operation. we got to take a quick break. So I'm going to get out of here while he puts it back on by himself. We'll be back with more Performance TV. After this.